A very pleasant good morning to you ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the People's Forum of In The Streets with Big Stone. Today I want to do a vlog that is different than any other vlog that I've reported or done. Today ladies and gentlemen, my vlog will be if I was the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Now fellow Jamaicans, I'm coming to you as a poor, humble Jamaican man that in his earlier years considered himself self-taught mostly, even though I graduated high school and college. And um, I want to come to you with a, a plan that I personally, as one who loved my country and loved my country very very well could bring to the Jamaican people and ask the Jamaican people to assist me because remember you the Jamaican people are the government of this country and if I was Prime Minister one of the first things I would jump on immediately is to fix our education system in this country education is the key to learning coexisting, flourishing, and having a prosperous life. Education. So I would make education free at all levels. The number two thing I would tackle on my list to be Prime Minister is crime. Now remember I tell you education would be first, but then if you have education at a very high standard, then crime would be at a low. But as it is right now, my plans for tackling crime would be to address the people. Remember, it is the people of Jamaica that commit crime. Crime just don't get up and happen. And we're talking about those responsible in all levels mostly in the upper chalant because to do crime you have to have money to even go out and rob somebody you must be in possession of a gun the gun is what they use mostly and the gun costs a pretty penny in this country and this is also a big business in this country so I would tackle crime by educating our young Jamaicans by making sure that um, our people are well educated and um, a lot of people know that crime just doesn't happen by itself crime happen because people commit crime even though they are crime of opportunities waiting to be happening as if someone rub butter on a puss mouth then of course the puss is gonna lick if somebody exposed their jewelry or their money or their plans to do business to an unscrupulous person, then of course you might be set up to be robbed or you might just be robbed. So I would educate my countrymen how to coexist one person to another and address the people. Find out what is the problem, what is the major, major problem. And then I know most of them would tell me poverty, which is going to be next on my list. I would make a very powerful effort to stamp out poverty. I know everybody will not be able to be multi-millionaires or rich, but we want them to be affordable so they don't have to use the one thing that is messing up this country, or two things, bad mind and covetousness. And bad mind and covetousness started from the plantation when they see the house slave living a little better than the field slave. That is where it came from. Then the Willie Lynn syndrome pit the poor against the rich and the rich against the poor and the educated against the uneducated. And the list goes on and on and on. Poverty, I would address that. Raise up the minimum wage from $7,000 to at least $15,000. Because that's what it takes for a poor, poor man to coexist amicably. Not no extravagant spending or anything but just to buy enough food and pay for bus fee to go to work and 
a family of two sending children to school. I would tackle poverty. Number three, land. I would make housing very affordable for the common man. Because I would look back and see what our ancestors who fought and died giving their lives for land. Paul Bogle must be saluting and I salute you Mr. Bogle for your selfless effort in the 1865 Mark Bay Rebellion and a lot of people must be educated about who Paul Bogle really was. As you know Paul Bogle was a deacon minister and um, he didn't like what was happening to the plight of the people in St. Thomas. So he walked not just once but twice to Spanish Town to speak to the then governor here rejected and then he found out that a deputy governor was going to be in Mark Bay on October 11th, 1865. He went down there real quickly with a couple of his men, maybe about 500. And while he was outside the courthouse waiting to be seen, they opened fire, killing seven of Paul Bogle's friends. And then the rest is history. But I say land because land is very important. Over a quarter of Jamaicans are landless. Even if you have your own rented place, it's still landless. The landlord owns that property, not you. Even if you live there for 50, 60 years, at the end of your tenure, at the end of your time, the landlord can easily well say, listen, I need to occupy my place right now. I'm doing some renovation and blah, blah, blah. And as I touch the landlord, 11 months of the year would they be entitled to collect rent. In the month of December, if I was Prime Minister, every landlord would have to give one month back to the tenant. So at least that tenant can enjoy Christmas. Can you imagine living on someone's property for 20 years, 25 years, 30 years, and paying them rent every four weeks? That's a lot. And, you know, I think personally, one month out of the year, they can collect their rent for 11 months. No problem. The next thing on my list would be to free up reggae music. Can you imagine Jamaica ranks 14? 14 in the world with reggae music. Not taking away anything from Jenkerman or Alba Rossi or others, UB40 who make millions upon millions of dollars singing reggae music. And I'm very happy that our music is so powerful that it can attract the outside world. But I personally think if I was Prime Minister, I'd pay more attention to reggae music as a legacy, because the amount of wealth of music, our music is sampled every day by multi-millionaire rap artists or musicians right across the world. So I would pay a very close attention to our music. Three, personally, the lack of time for uh, our music during the week is 12 o'clock and during the weekend is 2 o'clock. We must expedite our designated areas so that our music can play from sunrise until sunset because Jamaica is uh, advertised by the tourist board as the land of reggae music and reggae music belongs to us. I remember back in the days and I want you to listen to what I'm saying when there used to be China Splash and Japan Splash and 99% of the artists that performs on the Splash were Jamaican artists and Jamaican musicians. Now the Japan Splash and the China Splash 1% of the artists that is performing is Jamaican and the others, 99% musicians and artists are Japanese and Chinese. You better believe there's a Japanese Butchubantan down there. You better believe there's a Japanese Shabarangs down there. You better believe there's a Japanese Romanian Virgo. Where music is being exploited all across the world and we must take back position of our music. And last but not least, military movements. I would think that every young person should be involved in some boys brigades, girls brigade, uh, boys club, because I was a protege, a 
of the Boys Club, Boys Brigade, the Jamaica Defense Force, and the Jamaica Constabulary Force. And discipline is very, very important because I know some of our country people are not disciplined. So if I was ever Prime Minister, I would love my people, but I would be fearful of my people. And when I say I would be fearful of my people, because you cannot represent the people if you don't fear them. When you fear the people, you make it your own personal commitment to be truthful, to be honest, to make sure your country strives. And I can remember, and I use this in my blog a lot of times, John F. Kennedy says in his inauguration, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. I'm a Jamaican, I love this country, and I employ that all of you out there, whether in Jamaica or whether in foreign countries, love your country, support your country, want your country to go to be the best that we are. Stop the crime and violence. Let's have a great Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Thank you all for watching and I do all that you can have. A great day. Thank you Jamaica.